Hello, everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG Television News Brief on this Tuesday evening. Last week, we told you about the Sea Cadet program getting its very own vessel. Well, today, we hear more about what the Sea Cadets will be doing as part of the four stages of the program, which is the result of a memorandum of understanding between the Cayman Islands Coast Guard and the cadets. So once you are, or once you become a member of the Sea Cadet program, what you're really doing is a, a kind of a mini version to what is done by the Coast Guard. Um, so you, you, you try to be efficient in things like swimming, um, what we call solar safety of life at sea. Um, you do basic knots and splices in terms of your rope work, um, the safety of the vessel, uh, management of the vessel, uh, what are the protocols for going to sea, all the things that you need to check relative to ensuring that the vessel is seaworthy, more or less. And with this intermediate phase, we focus on compass navigation, chart navigations, and observations at sea, especially duties of a lookout on a deck hand. Now, Star 4 is the most advanced sea cadet program. Um, basically, so that will introduce the older cadets in the program to boat handling practical navigations, leadership, first aid, firefighting, and emergency drills. The older sea cadets who complete the four-stage program can apply for available positions within the Cayman Islands Coast Guard. Well, the Family Resource Center is ready for its next group of families who will be part of the SNAP program. SNAP is a clinical program geared towards children with behavioral difficulties in the home, school, and community. The program caters to kids between the ages of 6 to 11 years old and helps them keep their problems small by making smart choices in the moment. In Cayman, we have run 15 cohorts of the program. We run it at least three times per year, and it is a gender-specific program. Right now, we're catering to girls ages 8 to 10, um, and then we are having an upcoming SNAP two upcoming SNAP cohorts in August, starting Monday, August 26th, and Thursday, August 29th, we will be able to service two additional cohorts of up to seven families. As we just heard, the SNAP program is offered throughout the year. And families who are interested in can register uh, at email frc at gov.ky or you can give the FRC a call on 949-0006. Recently, Premier the Honorable Juliana O'Connor Connolly was an unofficial travel to the United Kingdom where she attended several high-level meetings and engagements while taking part in the Education World Forum. The Premier met with the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office Minister for the Overseas Territories, her first in-person meeting with the Minister since becoming Premier. Matters discussed included the need for a consultation and broader engagement on the United Kingdom, overseas territory strategy, home fees for Caymanian students in, in the United Kingdom, preparations and support for the upcoming hurricane season, as well as support on national security and irregular migration issues. The Premier was joined by Her Excellency Jane Owen on the visit. Premier O'Connor Connolly says, quote, our efforts to continue to tell our story to decision makers in the United Kingdom are continuing to bear fruit. The Cayman Islands are a success story, and we are very proud of our many achievements across many areas, end quote. Now, the Premier and Minister, the Honourable Jay Ebanks's attendance was acknowledged in Parliament there. She hosted a dinner at the Palace of Westminster with members of the Cayman Islands All-Party Parliamentary Group, as well as other members of Parliament and the House of Lords. Beneficial ownership was also discussed at meetings. All right, moving on to our weather forecast for this Tuesday evening. A slack pressure gradient across the Northwest Caribbean will continue to support light winds and seas across our area for the next few days. Now, some passing showers are expected late tonight as a tropical wave weakens east of the Cayman Islands. Tonight, expect partly cloudy to cloudy skies with a 30% chance of late night showers. For you small craft operators, seas will be smooth with wave heights of less than two feet. The outlook over the next two days is for similar weather conditions through to Thursday afternoon. Another gentle reminder tonight that you can check out the Cayman Islands National Weather Service's website and Facebook page for a look at all your local weather conditions.